I promised I'd be back with more tips and skills about the most popular web browser in the world. So here we are for part two of your beginner's guide to Google Chrome. Hi there, I'm Guy from Web of the Week and you're watching Guy's Guides where I provide simple guides to the internet, the world wide web and the online world in general to make sure that everyone can benefit from the wonderful resources out there. This video is part of a mini series focusing on a beginner's guide to Google Chrome. In the first video, we went through the basic features of how to use the tab system, the search bar and the navigation buttons without forgetting our magic wand, the refresh button. If you haven't seen that or want to refresh your memory, don't hesitate to go back to that video. Or if you want to check out our bonus video of how to download Google Chrome just in case you don't yet have the most popular web browser in the world on your computer, check that out too. In this video, we're going to move on to three more tips that will help you on your adventure throughout Google Chrome and help you benefit from all of those wonderful features out there. If you don't want to miss out on any of our tips or guides, please do subscribe to our channel and like any videos that you enjoy so that we can continue building this library of tips and guides. So if you're ready, well, I'm ready. So let's get on with the three next tips that are part of your beginner's guide to Google Chrome. The three main tips that we're going to focus on today can be found in the menu on the right hand side of your browser. So look for these three little vertical dots over here. Click on them to reveal the menu. You can see there are many options here, but we're going to focus on this middle section, which reveals your history, your downloads, and your bookmarks, which we'll keep for last. History is the first one that we're going to focus on. And the main advantage of your history is that it's basically a list of all of the web pages or websites that you've visited recently or a long time ago. Google keeps a record of every single web page that you visited so that then you can easily come back to it if you accidentally closed it or because you visited it a long time ago and you're looking for it again. Now the first thing that we can see here is your tabs that you've recently closed. So this will be all of the tabs that you've closed recently by using the cross like the one up here. We can see a list of them here and by clicking on one, like Learn My Way, I can just come straight back to the website that I was visiting previously. Let's come back to the History menu, where there was also a possibility to click on History here. And when I click on this, this opens an entire list of all of the web pages that I've been on or visited. For each element on the list, we have the time at which we visited that web page, a little logo which represents the website and finally the name or a description of the page that you were on. Now all you need to do to get back to a page that you can see here is just click on the name of it and that will take you straight back. Today's second tip is all about downloads. Now what are downloads? Well the word download simply means that you're taking a file from the web and putting it onto your computer by saving it into your file system. When I download a file, that means that it's then available on my computer for me to access whenever I'd like to, even without an internet connection, and of course without having to go back to the web page where I downloaded it from. For example, on Web of the Week, in some of Guy's guides, when I go through to the post itself, for example, the BBC Sounds guide, I can find a link where it says download. When I click on that, it opens the next page, which is a written guide about BBC Sounds. Now, if I download this onto my computer, I could have it saved for later or simply print it out by using my printer. I look for the download button, which always looks like this up at the top here. And when I click on that, it asks me where I want to save this file on my computer. So I can choose whichever folder within my filing system that I'd like to save it in, but let's just keep it in downloads for now and click on save. It may be the case that Google doesn't ask you where to save it. And if that's the case, then you just need to look in your downloads file, which is where Google will put it by default. I can see it's downloaded down the bottom here, but in a couple of months time, I may not be able to find it in my computer filing system. Well, luckily Google Chrome provides an entire list of all of the files that you've downloaded 
on the web browser itself. And I can find those by clicking on the downloads file here. This will bring up the downloads folder where I can literally see all of the files that I've already downloaded. I can either show this in Finder, which will show me exactly where it is within my own filing system. If I have something particular that I downloaded and I know a rough name of, I can also use the search bar to find a particular file, like Guy's Guide to Zoom. And finally, if I click on the blue link up here, this will then open it so that I can either download it again or print it out straight away. The third and final tip is my personal favourite and it's all about what we call bookmarks. Now bookmarks are a simple way of saving a particular web page which I either visit frequently because I enjoy that website or one that I want to remember so that I can come back to it easily without having to search through all of my history that we saw earlier. So a bookmark is just a simple way of saving the link to a particular page that I'm interested in. Here I am on the Web of the Week YouTube channel, which may be interesting to you and it's also super useful for me to have in my bookmark so that I can easily come back to add more videos. Now I can do this by adding a bookmark. And how do I add a bookmark? Well, I simply click on the star button, which is in the search bar, which we explored in the previous video. When I click on this star, it opens a box where I can define a name for my bookmark. So I can say Web of the Week YouTube channel. I can also decide on the folder where I'd like to save this bookmark. Yes, because bookmarks are organized by folder so that I can easily navigate throughout all of my bookmarks because some people have hundreds if not thousands of bookmarks so that they can come back to a web page at any time. So here we can see that I have a few different folders but for this one, Web of the Week is the most suitable. So I click on Web of the Week here and click on Done. This now means that I've saved this bookmark and I can easily find it up in the top bar of my web browser here which displays all of my bookmarks. I can either click on bookmarks which will take me through to the page where I can see all of my bookmarks. I can even search here so I could search for YouTube and this will pull up all of my bookmarks where the word YouTube is in the title. And then all I need to do is double click on that to open up the particular page. I can also see that some of my folders are displayed across the top here so that I can easily and quickly access those particular pages. And finally, if you don't have your bookmarks bar at the top of your browser screen, don't worry at all as this is a setting that may need activating on your side. So what do we do? We come back to our main menu in Google Chrome. We click on settings down at the bottom here. Then we search up at the top for bookmark. And we make sure that this toggle is selected as active so that our bookmarks bar is shown at the top of our screen. Here, if I take it off, we see that I don't have the bookmarks bar anymore. And if I click on it again, then my bookmarks bar appears and I'm ready to use it whenever I want to. And that's the second part of our beginner's guide to Google Chrome over. We hope that you enjoyed it and found it useful. Don't forget that if you have any questions or feedback or ideas for future videos on Guy's Guides, do leave us a comment down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or think about making a video about the tip that you're looking for. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video of this series focusing on Google Chrome. So until then, enjoy your Google Chrome experience.